Good day everyone, welcome back to another Langley Academy Primary Science video. Today we're going to be looking at doing some water transfer. Another really simple experiment, but it should be fantastic to watch. So, let's jump straight in. Okay, to start off you're going to need seven clear cups, some food colouring, a jug full of water, some kitchen roll, and some scissors. So make sure you ask an adult to help you with this one. First things first, we're going to need our kitchen roll. So you want to get yourself a couple of sheets and then I'm going to show you how you need to fold them. So you're going to get each sheet and you're going to start off by folding down the middle horizontally. Then you're going to do it again until you've got two folds going this way. Then you need to fold it vertically, in half, so you've got yourself a small rectangle. Make sure all your creases are pushed down quite hard, and then you want to get yourself your scissors, and the ends that are the actual ends of the paper, just chop off just a few bits, so you've got a nice clean cut on both sides. And that's one done. We need four more. Sorry, I think we need six, not five. My mistake. One last one. Right, so now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of my kitchen roll pieces now ready to start our water transfer. So, let's go move over to the next part. Okay, so the next step, We've got our paper towels, we now need to set up the water. So you're gonna get your seven cups, and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to then fill every other cup with about half cups worth of water. So I now need my jug, start at this end, then I fill the first one, then I'm gonna miss one. Then I'm gonna fill the next one, then I'm going to miss, and the next, and so on until you get to the last cup. That's that part done. Next step, we need to get our four different food colouring. So I'm going to get my red, and I'm just going to pour in some. So that's my red. This is going to be my yellow. Then my green. And I'm just pouring in a small amount just so it can so I can visually see that the colour is changing. And then the last one is blue. Well these look very satisfying indeed. So don't need my food colouring anymore, I can move them away. And the final step is I'm going to put in in between each one my kitchen roll and it will sit in between them and then we should see something quite special happen. Have a prediction of what you think might happen. What's going to happen to these cups and what might happen to the cups with the food colouring? Maybe pause the video and have a chat to your uh, adult and see what you think. Right, now for the last part of the experiment, I'm just going to move the camera so that you can see the transfer of the liquid and I'll speed that up so it's nice and quick for you.
few hours actually and as you can see the results of what we've got are actually quite interesting you can see that these paper towels oof, are very sodden and they're all transferred some colour that they were in and they've gone all the way over to the cup that was next to it that had nothing in and you can see in between each one of our colours is a mixture of the colours that were on the left cup and the colours on the right. So we've got a light blue here that's mixed from our dark blue and our green. We've got like a, a little bit of a limey colour here that's mixed from our green and or our yellow. And then we've got quite a, a rosy colour here that we've got from our orange and from our Sorry, from our yellow and from our red. And I'll get you a close up now of all these colours because it is actually fantastic how you can see they go from quite dark to very light for each one. So let me show you that now. My favourite part about this experiment is how fantastic the colours are. And you can really see, as you look down, all those colours that are slowly transferring from one side to the other and you can see how the gradient changes from being quite vibrant quite a lot of color and it slowly pans away to not as much really fantastic one last thing before i go i use the color dye of red yellow green and blue now if you were going to try this at home why don't you see what would happen if you changed your colors maybe do the cups in between come out with a different colour? I'm not sure. That would be something that you could find out for yourself and maybe you could let me know. That'd be brilliant. This is a fantastic experiment. I love those colours. I hope you enjoyed as well. And if you have a go at home, make sure you send in your versions to the Langley Academy Primary's Twitter. Hope you have fun. Have a lovely day. See you later, everyone.